This is Jeff Fitch, a longtime motorcycle rider and someone who was looking at buying a Goldwing recently. Um, thought we'd get Jeff's perspective on what he thinks of of the RT compared to uh, the Goldwing he was looking at. Well, at first, Mark, when I saw these uh, come on the market, I thought they were a rather interesting looking mode of uh, transportation and having experience with four wheelers, snowmobiles, motorcycles, they naturally caught my eye. And of course, having a lot of uh, experience riding yours, um, I was immediately intrigued with the handling and the, the power and the, the straight line stability in the wet as well as the dry. But I was kind of looking for something further upscale for my wife and I to do longer distance touring. And that's where I had started to question you, would uh, BRP be possibly producing a touring model in the future? And of course, you didn't know last year, but thought maybe they might target the market. So we'd been looking at uh, Gold Wings uh, last year in uh, 2008, hadn't purchased one. But then when we heard about uh, this coming along, I said, well, before we do that, why don't we take a look at this? Of course, this is a pre-production model that uh, you've had here from the factory. So we looked it over here pretty close this morning. And to me, it looks like BRP has put a lot of thought into this as far as a touring rider, electronically uh, controlled windshield. Um, I really like the storage. I mean, that appeals to guys, but I mean, it really appeals to women too, especially if we're on the road. You've got the heated grips, front and rear, uh, built-in uh, radio, the AM, FM, flexibility to add other things. Um, good coverage on here with the bodywork. And the bodywork, as you can see, is really quite a bit uh, different style uh, than the, the GS and the Sport model over there. But as far as the LED lights, uh, the, just the look at it up front, it looks like a very high quality uh, unit. The styling, uh, fabrication, uh, bodywork, rear lights, as I was following you this morning, are uh, very, very exceptional. I, I really like the styling and also the very visible. Um, a nice view to the back here, a very large trunk, and your side pods. Um, the seat, from what I just sat on it, uh, appears very comfortable. Uh, good accommodations for the passenger. And like I say, they've got the heated grips back here, also controls for uh, on the audio, uh, built-in rear speakers, front and rear, and with that kind of windshield that you can adjust, it really does create uh, quite an envelope of uh, quiet for you or drop down to give you more uh, air exposure. It's, uh, I think it's really quite an impressive effort that they've uh, come out here with, and it's going to appeal to people. And I don't think it's, it's just the person... Um, that's going to be older or anything like that. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Or whether somebody that's got a bad hip and says, I can't balance a motorcycle. I don't think that really enters into it with this. This is a, a uniquely different uh, type of a, a motorcycle. And um, I embrace it. The mirrors look, uh, look pretty impressive. They're always functional. I think it's a, a great start for, for them in this. It doesn't look like they've uh, forgot much on the package so far. So I'm anxious to see one come out through a dealer and uh, take a test drive on it and then compare it to uh, like a Goldwing and give the, give the missus a ride and see what she thinks too.